so now we will see the 3d problem so in our problem we saw the diameter of the tube is 1 inch and the length is 30 inch but previously we did 2d simulation and now we will do exactly the same problem but in 3d so what you have to do you close this fluent and you go to workbench and open another fluent here so go to geometry now draw the same thing new sketch normal sketch tool circle make a circle dimension 1 inch generate and then extrude 30 inch generate and here is your 3d tube so your geometry is done now we will do the meshing so go to mesh so here in the mesh we will do mapped face meshing so select mapped face mesh and select your geometry apply and then update now your mesh is done if you see closely then you will see the mesh here but it doesn't have any inflation layer so we will do the inflation layer and then go to inflation inflation select the geometry and select the boundary here is the boundary number of layers let's say 10 and update so here is your inflated layer so here you can see the elements the number of mesh right now is the number of node is 46,000 and the number of mesh element is 100,000 so it's not a good mesh if you want very small number of mesh along the surface wall you can change these numbers here and you can play with this but right now we will demonstrate how to do the 3d internal flow problem it's exactly the same like we did in the 2d problem so your mesh is done right now you have to specify the boundaries so this is our inlet so inlet and this is our outlet so outlet and this surface is our wall so name it wall and then update one more time here you can see your mesh is done so in the next tutorial we will see the case setup and the solution for 3d internal flow thank you